Hello friends. Today we will see the topic, respiration in plants. Respiration is a process which is continuous ongoing throughout whole life of living things. All living cells in plants and animals require energy for their activities. Respiration is a catabolic process of releasing energy from simple sugar for carrying out life process. Plants, unlike animals, have no specialized organs for gaseous exchange but they have stomata and lentesles for this purpose. For example, building up proteins from amino acids, making starch from glucose, observing minerals from soil, these are all such activities that requires energy. This energy is made available by the breakdown of a simple carbohydrate glucose. The complete combustion of glucose, which produces CO2 and H2O as end products, yields energy most of which is given out as heat. C6H1206 plus 6O2 gives 6CO2 plus 6H2O plus energy. There are three important characteristics of respiration in this equation. 1. The breakdown of glucose to carbon dioxide and water does not occur in a single step, but in a series of chemical steps. These steps occurs in two major phase. First, glycolysis, glucose gives pyruvate, occurring inside it plism and second, Krebs cycle, pyruvate gives carbon dioxide plus six water plus ATP, occurring in mitochondria. Two, each breakdown step is due to a particular enzyme. Three, the energy liberated in the breakdown of the glucose molecule is not all in the form of heat, but a large part of it is converted into chemical energy in form of ATP, chemical substance called adenosine triphosphate. When energy is in the form of ATP, is used, the ATP is converted into ADP that is adenosine diphosphate and again when more energy is available by further breakdown of glucose, the ADP is reconverted into ATP and so it goes on continuously. One mole of the glucose on complete oxidation yields 38 molecules of ATP. ATP and the energy of the cell. All activities inside living cells need energy which is available in the form of ATP as the immediate source. Hence, this chemical compound ATP is described as F energy currency of the cell. A living organisms show two types of metabolic activities, that is, anabolic, constructive or biosynthetic processes and catabolic that is destructive or breaking up process. Anabolic activities use energy and ergonic while catabolic activities produce energy, x -reganic. Respiration is a catabolic process by which living cells oxidizes organic substances, glucose and releases carbon dioxide, water and energy.